Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sheila G, the PAC, and today we have another Dura Mimickers episode where I talk about two conditions that look very similar, but are in fact very different. Before we jump in, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for all things dermatology. Let's go. Today we'll be talking about subungual hematomas and subungual melanoma. A subungual hematoma is essentially a collection of blood underneath the nail from trauma, where a subungual melanoma is a very serious type of skin cancer that can occur under the nail. Now, while these two conditions may look similar, they're very different as far as cause, the clinical presentation, and treatment. So let's go over the differences between these two conditions in terms of patient history, clinical presentation, and of course, management. Subungual hematomas occur due to trauma of the nail matrix or the nail bed. So think slamming your finger in a door, dropping something heavy on your toe, or any blunt force injury. In some cases, they may be caused by repeated microtrauma of the nail. Most of the time, the patient is going to report some sort of specific injury that caused that pain and discoloration of the nail. Subungual hematomas happen when the nail matrix produces small pockets of blood that get trapped within the nail plate. Now, anybody can get a subungual hematoma, but you might see it more commonly in those who frequently work with their hands, work with heavy objects, or in patients who are on blood thinners. Subungual melanoma is a dangerous form of skin cancer that can form under the nail. Now, because these do not form from trauma, the patient can't usually recall a specific injury to that nail, and these develop over months or years and typically form as a dark brown or black streak on the nail. Now let's talk about the pathology of each condition so that we understand them a little bit better. As mentioned, of course, subungual hematoma results from bleeding under the nail due to trauma, and that bleeding can cause a characteristic dark red, purple, or even black discoloration of the nail. Subungual hematomas may be large, they may be small, but the most importantly, they don't involve any cancerous cells. They are completely benign. A subungual melanoma, however, is a cancer of the melanocytes, which are the cells that produce pigment. Now, these cancerous cells form in the nail matrix and then can invade deeper tissues. Subungual melanoma is a form of what's called acrolentiginous melanoma, which affect the hands and the feet. The pigment that is produced, known as melanin, gives that characteristic dark color, but it is essentially a growing mass that is malignant and can spread to other parts of the body, especially if left untreated. Now, these typically start off as a dark brown or even black linear streak on the nail that slowly changes and becomes more asymmetric and irregular. And then we must consider how common these conditions actually are. Subungual hematomas are extremely common, especially in athletes or anyone prone to trauma. And we can see these both on the fingernails and the toenails, but the toenails are a little bit more susceptible because of friction and repeated trauma and, you know, stubbing your toe, things like that. Whereas subungual melanomas are way less common and account for less than 5% of all melanomas. We typically see subungual melanomas affect the thumb or the big toe, and they're more common in those with dark skin tones. We often see them affect those between the ages of 50 and 70 more often. Okay, now let's talk about the differences between these two conditions on clinical exam. With subungual hematomas, the color is a lot more uniform, and so we typically see kind of a dark red, purplish, or black discoloration, and it tends to be more round and well-defined. Also, there may be some swelling or pain at the site of injury, um, and when pressing on the nail, the patient might experience some tenderness. But in hematomas that have been there for a while, you know, it may be asymptomatic. Also, the hematoma is gonna slowly grow out with the nail and kind of fade over time. In subungual melanoma, the most notable finding is a dark brown or black longitudinal streak from the cuticle to the tip of the nail that changes over time. So this streak may widen, usually past three millimeters, become more irregular, or show signs of asymmetry in jagged borders. Also, a very specific finding to this type of melanoma is what's called Hutchinson's sign, where we see dark brown or black discoloration of the proximal nail fold. Now, when looked at with a dermatoscope, we may see dark brown or black lines um, with this kind of brownish background. And unlike subungual hematomas, these do not just grow out with the nail and they're gonna progress and change over time and they may even metastasize to distant tissues and other organs if not caught early. If the diagnosis is still not clear, a nail biopsy might be performed. In those who have a more sudden, acute, and painful subungual hematoma, 
um, that blood might be drained or evacuated either with an 18 gauge needle or um, electrocautery tip. There's different ways to do that. But in non-painful hematomas, the patient can rest assured that it will grow out with the nail and eventually fade away. Melanomas are an entirely different story in terms of treatment. The management of subungual melanomas really just depends on the staging. For deeper melanomas, a sentinel lymph node biopsy may be required in order to assess for spread to the regional lymph nodes. However, regardless, the melanoma has to be removed, and so that's typically done through a wide local excision, which often requires the entire nail apparatus to be removed. So there you have it, the differences between subungual hematoma and subungual melanoma. For any skin or nail concerns, always consult your dermatologist to get the best diagnosis and treatment. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for all things related to dermatology. I'll see you next time.